Hello there guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea for my video of announcing the signing of Davide Sapacosta, the new Chelsea player. It only took us until 11.20pm on the 31st of August, deadline day itself, basically 20 minutes after the transfer window is officially already shut. Um, to announce the first signing of deadline day. This is actually the second time that I'm recording the video because first time I forgot to plug in the microphone and this microphone already isn't great. But um, trust me, it's a lot better than the other one. <laughs> so I had to redo it. Um, but yeah, you know, like we said earlier during the day when the news broke that the two clubs, FC Torino and Chelsea, have found an agreement over the player David Zappa Costa. Um, you know, the agreement that was apparently found at the time, and obviously seems to be true, um, was for around £23 million, around €25 million Euros apparently. And, um, you know, David Zappa Costa is a 25-year-old Italian right-back slash right-wing-back. Sometimes he even played right mid slash right wing, um, but generally his position is right back slash right wing back. Like I said, we have signed him from FC Torino where he moved to from Atalanta Bergamo during the summer transfer window of 2015. So he has been playing for Torino or he has played for Torino for two years now. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know all too much about him. I mean, I've seen him play whenever I watched Torino, but I never really looked at him individually. So, um, you know, I heard his name before, but if you would have asked me who's FC Torino's right back, would have never, you know, thought of his name. But according to some sports journalists from Italy, um, he was one of the best right backs in the Serie A last season, which, you know, sounds good. I mean, like I said, I can't say that I know if that's true or not. But, you know, these people usually know what they're on about. So I'm um, just going to trust him on that one. Last season, the guy played 29 games in the Serie A. Um, most of them at right back, some of them at right wing back, obviously, depending on the formation that Torino played in the various games. He scored one goal and got five assists, which, you know, considering most of his games were at full on right back, um, I'd say it's a decent ratio. He has four senior caps for the Italian national team, um, and he made his debut last November, actually. So, um, you know, that's interesting. He was already 24 years old. He turned 25 in June, I think, when he made his debut. But he did make his debut to um, qualifier games and two friendlies he played so far. And a stat that actually quite impressed me about him is only Alexandro, with 49, has more completed crosses from open play in the Serie A since January 2016 than um, Zabacosta has with 48 completed crosses from open play. So that's a very good stat. I mean, Alexandro is regarded as one of the best left backs in the world. Certainly one of the best left wing backs in the world. So, um, you know, to be that close to him in a stat that's very important um, you know, when playing in the wing-back position, is very good. So like I said, I don't know all too much about him, but what I've been told is that he's basically a faster, better crossing and possibly better passing version of Marcos Alonso. Like I said, can't, you know, vouch for that and can't say whether that's 100% true or not, but that's what I've been told. Overall, to be honest, I'm quite happy that we signed him, you know. We were desperate for a wing-back. I said it in my um, transfer show yesterday that we needed a wing-back. He's... Maybe not the wingback that I was looking for, that I was thinking about when I said, please sign a wingback. But, you know, he's a wingback. And, um, you know, I mean, although Emanalo said in the statement that they obviously released when revealing um, David Zappa Costa as a Chelsea player, you know, he said, you know, we knew about him and we've been looking at him for a while and Antonio Conte knew about him. Probably all bullshit. I mean, Conte certainly knew him, you know, he's Italian. Um, Conte probably knew all the Italian players basically from a certain level onwards um, but I doubt that he was actually properly on our radar say five months ago but you know I might be wrong but like I said I I'm quite happy that we signed him you know it sounds good it reminds me a lot of when we signed Marcus Alonso last year I didn't know much about Marcus Alonso last year either and we all know how that went you know he did incredibly well, even this season. I mean, he won us the game against Tottenham, <laughs> which was important after losing the game against Burnley. So, I'm I'm, I'm positive about it, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, we know how how much Antonio Conte can improve players. Look at Moses, look at Alonso. I'm feeling positive about it. Am I feeling good about the signing because I'm trying to be, you know, over overly positive? So I don't start crying because we've had such a poor transfer window? Possibly. <laughs> no, but being serious, I am quite happy about the signing. Obviously not a dream signing, but it is a signing that we needed. Do I think he will replace Victor Moses in the starting eleven? No, not at the beginning, definitely. Um, maybe, you know, throughout the season. Obviously he will get game time. We need, 
you know, we need to rotate to Champions League and, you know, cup games. We will, we will rotate. You will get game time. Maybe impress this Antonio Conte and those fans and he will, you know, get the starting spot over, over Victor Moses. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's really all I have to say on him. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. You know, did you know who David Zappacosta was before, you know, the, the rumours came out that we're about to sign him today? If you do, let me know down in the comment section below. I think it will be helpful to all of us, to me personally, and um, to other people reading the comment section as well, if you know more about him than what I've just told you. Um, leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We massively do appreciate that. Also, check out my social media links, which you can find somewhere over here, last 1507 on Twitter and Instagram. I'd massively appreciate it if you followed me there. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome, Davides Apacosta. Up the chills. And I'll see you next time.